Well, Inside Edge is uh, basically it follows the trials and tribulations, the ups and downs of a uh, team in a T20 league. It's called the Mumbai Mavericks, the team, and it's you know it's through uh, the season, and it's it's uh, looks at all different various aspects of it: uh, the players, the management, the staff that are associated, and and what are the various um, equations, and that's what the show really explores. Uh, in terms of behind the scenes and not necessarily on the field always. Um, so the trigger I think comes from this idea itself that because we uh, as a country we love cricket and cricketers and we love to know uh, what's happening and it's always kind of shout, shouted in secrecy a lot of this. You know, Unlike Bollywood where a lot of information is very freely available and we keep getting information that no one needs to know you know, so in, in terms of gossip and things like that. So um, I, I guess one wanted to, uh, what's happening of late is that cricket is, as a, from a sport, is slowly morphing into entertainment, you know, with the new uh, formats and things that are coming in. So uh, it just seemed a perfect marriage of, to create a good story. And for me, that, that was the big draw. Like, you know, there's so much drama to be mined here. For me, that I think that was what was a real spark. I play uh, I play the coach to this Mumbai Mavericks team, and uh, um, his history has been uh, his name is Niranjan Suri, and second name <laughs> his surname is the same. So, um, so Suri has been a top batsman in the in, in the 80s and 90s, and uh, was really a sought after uh, player. And then he gradually uh, moved on to uh, coaching and uh, so he is um, a kind of a person who's, who's a friend, philosopher, guide, an inspiring um, person uh, but very approachable, very um, very amiable and uh, so his rapper with the team is also like you know like it is with it should be with the coaches but yet there's a there's a voice of reason in him and uh, he has his own baggage that he's uh, that he is carrying. He tries not to burden the team with that, but that you'll get to see what happens. Uh, but I enjoyed playing uh, the coach to the Mumbai Mavericks. <laughs> well, uh, my character name is Prashant Kanojia. He is from a small town in UP. After playing uh, for a number of uh, championships and tournaments, he gets picked up by the Mumbai Mavericks. And it was always his dream to uh, play for the team, to play. Uh, in a very, uh, you know, big, uh, big stage, so, and he gets there, and when he gets there, and he, everything changes, uh, the, the dream he was chasing, suddenly, you know, uh, it's, it's turning into something else, he's, he's surrounded by people who, who he always looked up to, but they are something else, I mean, everyone has, everyone is two-faced. And uh, so his struggle is how he, you know, still is honest with the game and uh, is not giving up to those pressures of, uh, you know, things happening around him in the game. Well, you know, uh, there is no way that we'd be able to encapsulate what we have said over say eight hours in, in, in the series in a film and we are still not done. I mean, there's lots of loose ends even now. And uh, with a film, what happens usually like you follow a very traditional structure where you start off, you have a setup, you have a conflict, you have a resolution and you have a climax, that kind of thing. So here we have, you know, an ensemble cast of nine main leads and uh, all of them have significant parts and it's not like one graph, you, it goes up and down, people turn around. So there's no way we would have been able to sort of capture this. So at no point did we even consider making this as a film. It was always going to be a series idea. And um, and, and there's a lot more to be said even after the uh, first season. As you know, I'm associated with Excel and uh, Excel and I, we had this uh, uh, concept that we wanted to just, you know, we, had, we wanted to make sure that we go to the right platform, would be able to justify, you know, the kind of mounting that this project has. And Amazon was a very natural fit to that.
see, I, I treat this like, you know, how Karan said in a film, it's you've got two hours and you, you convey what you convey. And you, that could be multi um, sort of character driven as well. But a web series where you like say this is 45 minutes into 10 episodes, 450 minutes of content. So it, it sort of actually reads like a book. You know, it has chapters and then chapters within chapters. So you could be a part of uh, one chapter and not the other and then you, the third chapter, but you are a part of the book. So, and you pull out one chapter, it, it loses its, uh, you know, continuity. So, um, so there is, there is one because there is another and this one would not exist because there was, the other does, does not. So I think when you're acting or approaching um, as an actor to work in a multi-character um, series or even films, I feel, I feel, I've always viewed that, you know, what is the story and is this character adding value to the screenplay or because is, is he, you know, indispensable or not? So if you pull him out, you miss him or not? So those are the things that happen at the script level. And when I was approached, uh, met very casually um, with Karan. And um, so um, he took me through what, what, uh, what this guy is all about. And then, and I was intrigued. And then actually I read it later. And, um, but even before reading, I was sort of, you know, um, had warmed up to the idea of doing it. So it's not really the amount of presence you have or like, you know, screen time. What you're doing over there is very important because you could be a chapter which could be, which could just change the entire, you know, um, uh, entire story into another direction. So I always viewed it like that. I think what Sanjay is trying to say is that, you know, when like because of the constraint of a film, you're always jostling for space on a multi star in a film. It's always like, oh, yes, yeah, you know, actors always feel a little bit um, about how important or critical it is in terms of the space or the time they have. Over here, everyone has a lot of space and there's no jostling. And every scene is their scene, you know, and there's enough of them going on for everyone. So that, that's the big difference over here. Yeah, I have actually uh, had a uh, bet with my very close associates that I think TV is going to fold up really soon and it should because it's a really s silly idea that you have to watch something you want to by appointment. You know, I don't want to be waiting around every week at 9 o'clock on Thursday to see something that I like and I've been following for weeks. I mean, that in, you know, in 2017, that's like a very arcane idea that we need to be done. So absolutely, I think TV is on its way out, I, I, in terms of how we know it right now. See, we'll pick up from there, uh, a part of TV will restructure because of the fear of winding up, which they have already started doing. But at the same time, there are many Indians that live together. And you know, if your question is, TV will wind up in India, no, it won't. It's going through a transformation stage right now. They're readapting. If you see in the last one year, all of them have opened up their apps. All of them have, you know, so they're, they're gearing up for this market where 800 million people are below 35. So definitely they're gearing up for that market. And also you have to understand TV runs because of advertising. Advertising is mostly done for mass products. Mass products are marketed all over the country. So they need to reach the smallest zilla village also, right? So, um, so like I said, many Indians living together, so you would have all kinds of platforms, because this is only how content is being delivered to you. So, I know people who watch, even at my home, the same thing on TV and of ease of use, Raat ko kaam waam khatam karne ke baad, my house self also watches the same thing on uh, phone, you know? So it's, it's that shift is happening. So, yes, TV will have to buck up for sure. Uh, uh, it's going to be like, you know, what's happening to print medium, you know, slowly it's uh, because right now in India, the delivery is free. So we, we don't mind the moment we'll have to start paying for the delivery of your newspaper, you just think twice. And it's not that the youth is not informed, youth is informed without even buying a newspaper. So the habits are changing, uh, but they are restructuring 
that's what one hears. Now, I'd like to think that we are getting there very soon, uh, especially with the kind of opportunities like, for example, that Amazon is providing us. Uh, we are being mentored by, you know, the Hollywood-based uh, TV showrunners who have done who have done these shows that you mentioned. So um, it's going to happen sooner than later. Also, um, like to add another thing, which is uh, you know very liberating uh, on the web. Like if I ask you. You know, a lot of people just comment, yeah, we, we, we love Narcos, you know, we like Narcos. And, Narcos. and a lot of people would not know the name of the actor who plays Pablo Escobar. So, at one level, yes, they should know the name of the actor, but at another level, it's a healthy sign because it's not uh, star driven, it's totally story driven, right? So, that was, would be very liberating for directors, writers, you know. Um, because the audience is actually, um, it's so um, unforgiving, if, if it's not up to the mark, they are not gonna, if, even if they bought a ticket like in a movie, okay, they'll sit through a film, you know. Here they're gonna shift in seven minutes, ten minutes, they're gonna shift. They, they are not loyal to, um, the web audience is not loyal. They are looking for a good deal or, you know, uh, content that suits them. So they will move very quickly. So which will, which will democratize a lot. Um, of course, initially, certain names would help to bring in the audience. But like I said, his younger brother may not care who, who's in it. As long as he likes uh, what he sees, he's going to watch it. Yeah. Thanks a lot for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.